an idea. Every great game you ever play started with an idea. The only difference between a dream and reality, taking that first step. And you are here because you are feeling that call. In this video, I help you installing Unreal Engine, the ultimate tool for game creation, and introduce you to three powerful templates that will ignite your imagination and set you on the path to building incredible worlds. Let's make it happen. If you haven't joined the channel yet, now is the perfect time. Hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell so you never miss tips and tutorials on Unreal Engine and how to build your career successfully in video games. I've spent years teaching programming, game design, level design, and 3D modeling at top institutions and through Udemy courses. But now, my focus is on helping people break into the gaming industry with the Game Creator Accelerator, a lifetime mentorship to guide you to your first steps and map out the path toward exciting career in games. If you want to learn more, send me an email at tony at woolen.com or check the description for more details. Now, let's get started. The first step in the installation of Unreal is, of course, finding the Unreal Engine. So I get into Google and look for Unreal Engine. And here it is. Let me open the screen. Unreal Engine, the most powerful real-time 3D creation tool, and it is true. Let's click on it. What I love about this presentation of Unreal is that you have a lot of content to discover what the world can be if you start working in Unreal. In particular, in the case of uses, I want you to check the switching to Unreal Engine in case that you're coming from another engine. But then talk about the AAA games in the games, mobile games, Unreal Editor Fortnite, which allows you to create Fortnite-style video games. Yeah, I know, it's amazing. Film and TV, broadcast live events, animation, architecture, automotive, and simulation. The two areas that I love the most in Unreal, I have to tell you guys, is the game creation and, of course, the film and TV. Well, of course, no, this is the kind of things that I like. So let's get Unreal. For Unreal, you can go to this button on this side or you can click on Download. Let's click on Download. The steps is pretty simple. As soon as you click on Download, you will find the Epic Installer. To work with Unreal, you just need to work with the Epic Launcher, which is the same one you use to play the games on Epic Games. You also have this section of uh, a tutorial to install Unreal Engine, but it won't be as fun as I am. On the bottom, you can watch the system requirements. I have to tell you that Unreal, yeah, it, it, it has some requirements, but because the quality of the games are very, very high. And of course, imagine if you're going to use this to movie creations, well, you can think that you need a good computer. Once you download the installer, just go to the folder where you have it, in my case, this one, and click on the Epic Game Installers and follow the process. Is pretty straightforward. When you finish installing the Epic uh, Launcher, go to search and look for the Epic Games Launcher. And here you will see the Epic Games Launcher. And as you know, I guess that some of you know because you are gamers, you have the store section where you can buy or download games from the Epic Games. Or you can also have this section on the left that is called Unreal Engine. And this is the one we will click right now. With Unreal Engine, as soon as it is presented, you have a lot of content of things that you can test already. Imagine that you can take something like the Dark Ruins Mega Scan, which is a, an example of the possibilities that Unreal present to you, and you can start building your own adventure. Yeah, guys, this is literally designed for you. I mean, you can start a video game using this library right away. So imagine the potential that Unreal presents to you. It's incredibly inspiring. Now, let's go back to the Epic Games Launcher. And once we click on Unreal Engine, I'm looking for the option or the tab on the top. <laughs> the tab that says library. Click on library. 
At this moment, I have several projects. Well, these are a lot of projects that I've been working or testing for tutorials. In your case, if this is your first time, you will find this My Projects section totally empty, and you will find these engine versions as well empty. Unreal has several versions, and depending on what project you're working on, uh, when you work for a studio, they will tell you, hey, we're working in a project with Unreal on the version, a specific version. The engine versions that I have installed, as you can see, are the 5.3.2.5.2.5.4.5.1.4.27.5.5.3. In your case, because you probably don't have any version of Unreal at this moment, you can click on the plus button and it will present you or it will prompt you with the option of the most recent version of Unreal available. I can click on, on the arrow and you will see from the oldest version available at this moment in Unreal to the most recent. If there is a version that you already installed, for example, in my case, it's the 532, I won't have it on this list. So let's say I'm going to install the 503. Click on 503 and pick install. In install, you can define where is the folder where you want your new version of Unreal to be installed. I'm going to cancel that. And you also have the option of options. And what I mean about this, well, Unreal is, every version of Unreal allows you to uh, control different things or depending on the platforms where you want to create your final product. For example, here you have Android, iOS, Linux. So in my case, I don't, I don't like to do things for mobile. So iOS, I'm not using Linux. So as you can see, you can save a lot of space for your computer. And uh, finally, this is basically what I need. And now I can say apply. And you can also add a shortcut. Once you finish, just click install and follow the process. I have to tell you guys, this is going to take some time. So drink a coffee, do something else, and then come back. I'm going to cancel this process because I really don't want this version of Unreal. So I'm going to pick uninstall. This is where the fun begins. I'm going to pick one of these versions of Unreal. At this moment, the most recent is 5.5. I'm going to pick the 5.4, but this applies to any version of Unreal. So don't worry about this. It's going to start loading and believe me, sometimes it takes some minutes. All right, when this process is finished, you will be prompt with this new window. And in this window, you have first to the left, recent projects. These are the recent projects I've been working on. You have the games, which are template for video games. And we're going to cover that in a second. You also have film, video and live events architecture, automotive, product design, and manufacturing, and simulations, which includes AR and VR. Today, we're going to click on games, and we're going to present three different templates. For starting, I will pick the third person. This is the first one I want to show you today. So click on the third person, look that the box is now blue, and to the right, you have some details related to this template. The third person pack features a playable character where the camera is positioned behind and slightly above the character. So what is a third person adventure? On the, on the bottom, because we are not going to get into C++, into a project using C++, and probably you won't do it uh, for, for the moment, I'm going to pick the blueprint and the select the selected the platforms I will use is the desktop. You have also mobile. The quality preset. I you have two options. I usually get to the default, which in this case is going to be the maximum. Thinking that you know new developers, new uh, sorry new gamers are going to have great computers or great consoles. And then uh, I'm going to pick the starter content, which is a folder that includes some assets that you can use in your project. Ray tracing, don't mind about this for a second. And on the bottom, you have the project location where you want this project to be safe. This could be different to the folder where you have Unreal installed. One thing is the Unreal, the engine that is providing you the service to create your projects. And this is the location of the project. And let's say the a name for this project, and I call it my 
third. Oh my God, third person. And create. Then you just have to wait until Unreal creates the project. When the project is loaded on screen, you will have this in front of you. And immediately you can click on here and start playing with your character. And look how amazing this is. Oh, this, this experience is really great. You can jump as well. And look that the animations are really fantastic. So this is the installation of Unreal. This is a pretty simple installation of Unreal for a third person character. I don't have to tell you that you can also rearrange these elements. I'm not going to cover how much you're going to do this, uh, how many things you can do here, because that will be part of another tutorial, but you can play with these elements and move them in different directions, different positions, and create a different type of scenario. You can you know, push these elements, or you can use this to jump to another section and this one to jump here. Yeah, you can have a blast. Click the escape button to, uh, to stop the running of the project. Now, I told you that I just want to present, I want to present three different templates. This is one of them. But now let's do the other two. I'm going to save the selected, uh, the changes that I did to my project. And now I will pick another 5-4 and pick the games. But in this case, instead of the third person, let's go to the first person. And as you can see here, this is a first person shooter by default. The rest of the things I'm going to leave it just as they are. So I call this one my FPS and create project. This is another project similar to the previous one. And now I can click here and start playing. Pick this weapon and start shooting. <laughs> and as we did a moment ago, you can also jump with the space bar and start experimenting with Unreal. If I click escape, you can also take these elements and move them to different positions. Do something very simple like uh, duplicate an object with control copy and control V and you have it here to one side and play. Oh, here it is. And I have this kind of hallway that I can run. And even beyond that, remember that a moment ago, I told you that you have a starter content when you create the project. Well, here on the bottom, you have the content browser and these are the folders that are presented to you as soon as you get into Unreal. One of the folders is, as you can see here, is called the starter content. And inside this one, you have all the folders. In particular, you have one that is called materials. So I can drag one of these materials, drag it, and place them on some surface like this one. And look how things are changing immediately. I can also use this moss material. Look at that. So you can start experimenting and I invite you to do it because this is exciting, guys. This is the moment where you start laughing and start having this smile and saying, oh my God, I really, I can do it. I can create video games. And this is my goal. My goal is to inspire your creativity and showing you the potential of the things that you can do. And believe me, there will be amazing things. So you can play now your game and now you have this surface it doesn't look good, of course, because we have to scale this surface, but don't worry. That's something that we are going to get eventually, that you will get there eventually. What matters at this moment is that you have the inspiration level very, very high. Go and escape. And the last template, which is for me one of the most fun of all, I'm going to, uh, let me check file, click on file and save all, save all because I want to save all the changes I did to this project and click again on 544, select games. And in this case, I'm going to click vehicle. And as you can read here, the vehicle pack features both a regular vehicle and more complex vehicles. That sounds really cool. And the, I'm going to keep the starter content I will call this one my, oh, my vehicle and create project. And after waiting several seconds, 
here is the other project. And if you want to play with your car, click this button and let's start playing with it using the keys. Uh, yeah, using the keys. Now I can get some speed, of course, move in different directions. Let's say what happens if I click the space? Oh, <laughs> the brakes. Oh, I love to do this. So imagine that you can already start creating the world for your car. And it's looking so, so great. Uh, because I'm like backwards, I think I'm going to escape. This is about experimenting with Unreal and see the possibilities that will bring to you. Play, play with this. Enjoy this process. Share this with your friends because you're doing something really cool. And keep always in mind that the successful for your career is about creating in the process that you are creating, you are learning and also sharing. So tell me in the comments below what type of games you want to create using Unreal. I want to know because I want to find a ways to help you. Also, let me know what other subjects you want me to talk about or to cover in the next videos. If you are struggling to find job opportunities in the gaming industry and don't know how to hack the system, or if you are in search of a methodology to change your career to video games without leaving your current job, I'd love to help. Reach out to me at Tony at Woolen.com or check out the description for more information and options. If this video added value to you, like, subscribe, and ring the bell so you never miss tips and tutorials on Unreal Engine and how to build your successful career in video games. Share this video with a friend that needs it and be sure to check out this video next on how to find game development jobs and boost your brand. Until next time, keep creating, keep sharing, and most importantly, keep dreaming big. I'll see you soon, my fellow creators.